bees are reliant on people to look after them now, um, and we're reliant on them to look after us as well. The whole concept started about 15 years ago when Kerry, my father, was working as a commercial beekeeper and he sort of they noticed when you're working with bees in a commercial environment, the bees are really angry. The way that they're being treated was quite obviously not what the bees wanted, you know, it wasn't how they wanted to be treated. So he came up with the idea and the concept of these things and the philosophy that we would encourage the natural processes rather than manipulate them to get maximum honey production. Um, instead of just taking you know, what was in the books and what other people were telling him, he decided, no, no, let's think about the bees and go back to that, you know, go back to square one, how would the bees want to be treated in this situation? And designed everything around that. Yeah, I guess over the last 15 years that we've been doing it, it's, it has evolved from doing it in a, you know, with commercial equipment um, and trying to find better ways to use that equipment and then eventually just throwing away all the commercial equipment that we had and building all of our own stuff from scratch. And the current hives that we're selling, um, we must have, there's been at least 30 different, you know, incarnations before that to get to this point. And, you know, we've done massive runs of each one of those. Over the 15 years, there has been a lot, and it's been expensive to find all these, you know, to learn all these lessons, but, um, and we're not gonna stop now. We're certainly not, it's not perfect. The whole idea of it is to keep learning and keep progressing. We have redesigned the whole beehive. Most common beehives that people see are Langstroth hives and they're the square ones that are painted. They're not really designed with the bees in mind at all, they're designed with honey productions. If you ever look at a wild colony of bees, they never build on top of each other. They always build across. Their ideal living condition would be inside of a hollow log. We've used that same concept, but use the industry standard equipment so that we can just easily pull out frames and inspect them. It's at waist height, it's all right there. When you lift the lid, you can see absolutely everything. In a standard Langstroth hive, the honey box is always at the top. And when a honey box is full, it can be about 50 kilos. By having it all right in front of you and lift up the lid and it's all there, you're only ever dealing with one frame at a time which is three kilos as opposed to 50 kilos. So it means that yeah, anybody can do it. You don't have to be a big tough beekeeper anymore. You know, it, it had never really crossed my mind um, to be eventually working as a beekeeper and I didn't know the first thing about bees really. After several thousand stings, managed to sort of get the hang of it a bit and um, learn to read the behaviour of the bees to avoid getting stung so many times in one day. A lot of people are quite surprised to see um, that you're turning up and there's a beekeeper in the middle of town. Oh, how's it going, mate? You've got bees here, wow. You know, after spending six months with the, the beehive in their back garden, then they, they love the bees so much that they never want to see them go. And, and people seem to feel some sort of comfort from that. You know, they, they know the 
situation that the bees are facing and they know that they're going to benefit um, from, from what the bees are doing. So they're quite happy. What we're doing now is a lot more getting a lot more businesses on board where we're you know getting restaurants like we've got the French cafe in the city um, and we've got two beehives right in the dining area um, so we're trying to get a lot more of that kind of business where we're really in people's faces because that's where we're going to make the biggest impact. The councils in Auckland are really good and they they love um, what we do and they're really encouraging us to keep doing what we're doing um, but what we want to try and do is put bees into all of the public parks in Auckland and also to put bees into every school in Auckland. Yeah. 